Hey, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and I have a sketchbook that I just finished and I'm super excited. Anytime you finish your sketchbook, it's a moment to celebrate. One, because you stuck with it. Two, because you're an author, you, you wrote part of your life and um, can now relive it, explore it, or put it away. I uh, like to do a few things when I finish my sketchbook, so I want to share that with you because it's a very cathartic experience and it's something that you can utilize to inform your work moving forward and even inform your life. You realize that um, a few things keep appearing in your uh, sketchbook, diary, whatever you want to call it, uh, journal. Uh, I call it a little bit of both a little bit of all of that in different times. So it depends on how I feel. Uh, so this is my sketchbook. It is a hardcover. I think it's um, seven by nine. I can't remember, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's what you do with it, right? So anytime I start with my sketchbooks, I always have an intention, right? And it's nothing too dramatic. It isn't something that I um, stick by, but I just like to inscribe it a little bit. So with this one, I did so and i just got a new one so with the new one i did this this is my life my magic to live right so it's just something that whenever i'm kind of lost this will give me uh, a direction so you can do that too again there is absolutely no right or wrong way to keep a journal to uh, be an artist for that matter so just kind of go with the flow i'm going to give you some of my breadcrumbs, some of my uh, light posts that I use to uh, keep me going and keep me inspired. So um, press that like button. I don't say that often enough, but press the like button, click and subscribe. I think that's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> okay, so do that if you haven't done that. Um, also connect on collagedream.com or luismartinart.com to be part of this amazing community. We have some great artists doing our collage prompts in Australia, in France, in England, across the United States. Uh, so you are welcome to be part of that. And if you're ever looking for a one-on-one, -on -one, you can also sign up for that with me. And uh, those are tons of fun. So let's get with it. So this is my sketchbook. So I try to date my sketchbooks, but I don't always. That's could be a good thing to do. Um, like I said, I started my first pages with, with something of the time, something to remind me. And this says, I'm totally caught up for the next 15 minutes. I'll play with my wig and exert my masculinity. It's snowing again. Still in New York for now. I don't know. I, I did buy a wig and it didn't work out. So this makes me remember that and it makes me laugh, right? Um, I also have something here. Oyo canciones tristes para que lloren por mí. Que lágrimas yo no tengo. And that says I listen to sad songs so they can cry for me because I have no tears. So dramatic, I know. But it's 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 in me. It needs a place to go. Instead of me projecting this on other people or in my life, I have the safety of my sketchbook to put all of this in, right? So super important. Have that for yourself as a safety net. I have some fun um, stickers and collages that, um, or stickers of collages that I've created that I like to keep also as a time capsule as well. This is a really beautiful postcard that I just needed to have. Look at that green. So I do, don't do this normally, but I just wanted to do this so I can share some images with you because, because this is my journal, because this is my ashtray where I kind of download or upload all of my thoughts there's some things that aren't for public consumption and that's perfectly okay i suggest you do the same um because you know sometimes things are raw and they're not ready so let's take a look at the things that are ready or in the process so you know this is a perfect uh example of a journal entry what i would do is which i just did i read it from what i could from my um handwriting. I have crazy handwriting. I really try to read it. Sometimes it doesn't always work, but I'll go back and highlight perhaps things that, that are of significance that might inform me later on, right? Um, you'll see a little bit later. I noticed that I use the phrase let go a lot and that means something, right? I have to remind myself, all oh, right, let go to the sad, of that sadness, let go of this, let go of that to feel light. And that might happen to you as you uh, look at your sketchbook, right? What are the things that are repeated? What are the things that are coming up again? I'm constantly creating collages of spaces, right? I, 
as someone who doesn't necessarily feel like they belong in the space they're in, I always love creating uh, collages of environments that are of my imagination or places that I know I belong in. So this is really important. This is one way that I develop ideas, right? So I do a little bubble and then I give it legs or, or uh, avenues or vines. So this was for a podcast I did on the wig. I did have a, I did buy a wig. I thought it'd be fun. I thought I'd put it on and look pretty, uh, but it didn't work. Quite the opposite. I look hideous. And at the same time, the experience really made me get in touch with my masculinity. I didn't expect that. So that was really exciting. And I made a podcast about it. And these are some of the points or ideas that I wanted to um, verbalize or talk about, right? Um, this is really beautiful, actually. So I collect images. I love spaces. I really love beautiful spaces. Um, and I collect images from, you know, decor magazines and travel magazines. And the fun thing is that when I cut them out, I put them here. I, I don't necessarily write about them, but I just keep writing in my journal. And then I find that I'll find myself in similar spaces. It's kind of like I'm projecting the future, where I want to be and the places that I'm invited into my life. And I tell you, it's never let me down. So I've been to many places that look like this now. And I want to remember that I want to celebrate that, right? One thing that I like to do is to create space for... Um, things that I don't necessarily want to paste on my book because this is um, not everything that I want to paste. Like this, for instance, this is from my friend Selena. We went out for, for pizza and this was our placemats and we thought, wow, how beautiful. So we kept it. And uh, so this is a nice memory. I don't necessarily want to use it, but it inspires me and it reminds me of my friend Selena. So this is really beautiful. So I keep this in here. And you'll find that I, you know, I, I, I leave notes for myself. Uh, when you come from a dark place, you sometimes hear uh, other voices in your head, you know, that, that maybe are, are a little bit more critical and they're not your voice. So you have to kind of re-program uh, your voice, right? It's like listening to a new song with a new chorus that uh, makes you feel good. So, you know, I, I, I'm very open to that and I, I create that space for myself in my world. Here's another one. This is from a Playgirl magazine. And I thought it was just the most beautiful image of just people frolicking in nature, right? There's nothing obscene about this. There's nothing pornographic about this, but it just feels free and uh, one with nature, if you will. So here's another um, free write. Again, I, maybe I'd go over it and highlight some ideas. Um, this is Judy Holloway. Holloway, Holloway, Holiday? I'll look that up. Um, she's an actress, right, from the 50s, and she came out in a movie called um, It Should Happen to You, and it's all about fame, and it's way ahead of its time. But uh, so I, I found that I thought, oh, I love this person. So she has a very distinct voice. If you look her up, YouTuber, she has a very interesting voice. You know, and this is the place to, to do those notes for yourself. Oh, I like this actress who I'll probably never see in, the, you know, my everyday life, but this is where she lives. This is a pug. I love pugs, especially pugs with jewelry. Again, another beautiful space. Again, <laughs> listen, I need to make myself laugh and this just makes me so happy. But again, I, I balance it and it says, I refuse to become a monster. That's a good thing to remember, refuse to become a monster, you guys. Um, I have some educational stuff, the gallery of gods, how fun is that? So if you're ever stuck in a plane, waiting to take off for three hours and you have your journal not only to write in but to look back right you always have tons of stuff that you can always um fall into so here's just a collection of colors and textures and uh, just things that make me happy my little pony like what where else am i gonna put that right i don't want to put that on my phone but i'll put it in my sketchbook and um uh, this beautiful image of a thunderbird dance and here it says and i need to let it go dance it all away let it go so these are notes to myself, right? And this is the place to do it. Um, if you're afraid that people will find this and make fun of you, that's perfectly a valid fear. So find a way to create a space for yourself. Write it backwards, write it upside down, uh, draw, right? So I think we all, the whole point of this is to arrive at a place where you feel safe, where no one can touch you or judge you for the things that you need to let out and express, right? 
this is gorgeous. So this is from National Geographic's and these are monks praying. And I really do believe that uh, the world is kept spinning on its axis because there are people doing right in the world, right? Keeping the light on for others. And you might be a mailman and, and you do your job with grace and integrity. And that's part of keeping the world in its axis, right? So you're keeping the light on in some way. So I think uh, this picture really reminds me of that. And I wanted to keep that. a lot of notes to myself this is fun so what I do is I do some screen grabs from um, from the phone from Instagram and I save them and I print them and I put them in my sketchbook because I love this creative blocks is the consequence of avoiding the truth creative blocks is the consequence of avoiding the truth Wow yeah I love that I, I endorse that idea let me let me keep that right a theater, sure, why not? I love it, I want it. This is fun. This is a, a little page that I drew and I remember distinctly where I was. I was in Mexico, in Merida, and my husband and his mom were playing cards and I don't play cards, and but I still wanted to be part of that environment, that moment, so I just sat there and drew next to them and it was really, really hot. Uh, and this will always remind me of that and uh, I mean, in some way, I guess it reflects that, right? Uh, so yeah, drawing, I mean, this is a time capsule as well. So I will always have that. Let me, let me go to my bookmarks before I scare you with stuff. Uh, yeah, so again, a space, a space for creating just silly narratives of, of whatever, right? I mean, and this can be a perfect uh, exercise for a collage that perhaps I wanna do later or a prompt or even a painting, right? So. Again, notes, notes, notes. And sometimes uh, people will creep up into my sketchbook. This is a sketch, this is a, a collage, not even a collage, it's a scrap of paper that I thought, oh, let me cut this out. And then I realized, wow, this has my brother's energy. And it reminded me of my little brother and he was about to move to California to do his PhD. And I thought, oh, this has his energy. And I was just so happy because it, it, again, time capsule it marks a moment this will always be him <laughs> for me, right? His energy and he's close. Um, again, this is another thought circle about things that I want to, that I did a podcast about. Uh, go to the places that give you wings. That was the name of the podcast. And these are some of the ideas that I wanted to explore. I mean, just beauty. Surround yourself with beauty, right? Anytime you can get it, Enjoy it, don't feel guilty about it. I have a nice little cocktail, a beautiful brim hat, just beautifulness. And it says, when we let go of the outcome while making art, it becomes meditation. Yeah, remember that. Um, and this is really important. Uh, it's really personal that I really needed to share because sometimes uh, we forget these things. Because when we tend to remember the negative, you know, oh, my aunt said this and oh. But then we forget like, oh, remember that Christmas card that they sent me? This is from a Christmas card that my aunt sent me. And it says, love you, Beto. That's my, what my family calls me. You are one of the best things in my life. Uh, XOXO, your tita. Like what? That's amazing. Like, why would I ever be sad, right? So keep that close, you get these. And if you don't get them, give them away. <laughs> because the world needs them. So this is something that I'm like, oh God, I should keep this near, right? Because it's ever a moment of blue, of sadness, of sorrow. Yeah, I have it. This is like my umbrella for when it rains. So thank you, Marie. And it's a space to create um, art that perhaps isn't ready again for public consumption, right? I make tons of collages, but sometimes I have these scraps or some ideas that I want to workshop or, or play around with. And I mean, look, I made a Frankenstein um, bird. And as a matter of fact, I did one recently on a Instagram Live. So, you know, it, it, it was already percolating in my head that probably started here. So that's fun. So again, safe space. He's fun. Um, you know, boarding passes every time we, we fly. I love to keep my boarding passes just because it's a good uh, reminder and a good bookmark as well. And then I think I have one more I wanted to share. Yeah, I mean, what a what a perfect ending, right? And I, I do not work um, from 
start to finish, I kind of pop in and out in random pages at random times uh, because that's just how my brain operates. I'm not sequential. Uh, so I've been working on these and it's fun to kind of then go straight forward and find surprises. So this is a little bit of that and talking about the future. Um, so this is my sketchbook. I just really wanted to share this with you because it's so important and sometimes we don't know what to do with it, right? So when you're finished with it, put it away and let it rest, let it simmer, whatever, and then bring it back out. And you're gonna see it with new eyes. And you'll realize that from a distance, once you take in your distance, things take on a new meaning and you're not as critical about it. It's not as raw, right? Um, and this can be only for your eyes or it could be for a YouTube video. Uh, but most of all, I like to think, well, God, Who's gonna find this, right, after I'm gone? Am I gonna throw them away? Am I gonna burn them? Or am I gonna give them to my niece? Am I gonna give them to my nephew? And perhaps this will make them feel closer to me once I'm not here, or maybe I'll give it to them on, on a birthday. Uh, the thing is that this is such an incredible intimate snapshot of, Snapchat, no, not, I've got my apps confused. Snapshot, <laughs> snapshot of who we are. Um, that no picture. Uh, and it goes beyond conversation more than anything can can really uh, convey. So this is an invitation to connect with yourself, to connect with others, and it's magic. It's absolute magic. So like I said, I have a new sketchbook, and I've already started just putting things everywhere and anywhere. I even made a little window also on a, on an Instagram live, and. Um, someplace warm and it just really keeps me optimistic that uh, I get to it reminds me that I create my reality I create my consequences right no one's gonna give me what I want but myself same thing for you so have fun uh, feel safe to express yourself uh, whichever which way feels right that's just uh, then the world is right, right? All right, so this is Luis Martin, the art engineer, sharing my sketchbook with you. Join the community at collagedream.com. If you ever wanna have a one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that. You can book them on collagedream.com. It's called Collage Therapy. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an engineer, I'm an artist, uh, and I like to work with people. So have a great day holiday week, right? It's Thanksgiving this week. If you're seeing this after that, I hope you had a good one. All right, I will see you here in the studio soon.